we're trying the best steak and the best burger deal in New York City. We're Kristen and Will, and we're on a mission to find the best food in New York. We've tried a ton of the most iconic steakhouses in the city, so when we saw these crazy deals at Ann Sun Steak Easy, we knew we had to try it. Let's see how it is. This building is just gorgeous. It's in an old brownstone. When you walk in, you see the bar, which is all dark and cozy. And the main dining room is in this gorgeous space. There's a dome in the ceiling. I love all the dark woods, the mirrors, the lighting in here, the Tiffany lamps are so pretty. I also love the leather seats. Those dark reds just complement the wood so nicely. It is just beautiful in here. The menu is full of interesting deals and promotions. You can order a la carte, and the prices are pretty standard for the city. Then they have a price fixed menu that comes with an appetizer, salad, entree, and a side. And the prices are not that much more than the entrees are by themselves. And then are the curated meals. These are amazing deals. They're only offered certain days of the week and come with an entree and a cocktail. We're getting the adult Happy Meal, which is available every weekday from 5 to 7 and all day on Monday and Tuesday. It comes with a burger, fries, and an espresso martini for $25. So I just got my espresso martini, which I am so excited about. I think it's so cute how this is a spin on the McDonald's Happy Meal. Instead of a milkshake, I got myself an alcoholic beverage. And if you don't want an espresso martini, you could pick any cocktail off the menu. Mm. Wow, so creamy. I love the foam on top. I also taste chocolate and a little bit of cinnamon. So good, I love it. So with the steak price fix, you could choose one of two appetizers. It's either pigs in a blanket or homemade bread. These look delicious. They're so crispy on the outside and it looks like it comes with mustard. Wow. The bread is so crispy, but also melts in my mouth. The flavor in that thing is unbelievable. And the mustard is the perfect complement. Oh, it's so nice and smooth. I gotta have another one. These were surprisingly good. They have that nostalgic pigs in a blanket flavor, but the breading is way flakier than the standard Hebrew national frozen kind. And the everything topping was the perfect addition. The steak price fix also comes with a salad. We decided to go with the wedge salad, which looks like it has lots of bacon and tomatoes and this creamy dressing. I'm gonna make sure I get a little bit of everything. The lettuce is so nice and fresh, and the bacon adds such a nice crunch and is so nice and salty and almost has like a smoky flavor. I get little bits of onion and those nice juicy tomatoes. This is a really good salad. I feel like whenever we go out, we're kind of hesitant to order salads because it's just not that inspiring. Like everywhere we go, we feel like we could try something else on the menu that might be more interesting, but this is really good. I'm glad we're trying it and you can't go wrong because it's included in the price fix. Even though the salad is technically just for one person, it's pretty big and definitely enough for the two of us to share. But if multiple people get the price fix steak meal, you get a family size salad. Here's my Happy Meal in all of its glory. I am so in the mood for a burger, so I am ready for this. I love how it looks like it's a fast food type burger. The sesame on the bun, the cheese melting out of it, the fries are so nice and thin, and this espresso martini is gonna be the perfect complement. Okay, let's cut this open. They didn't ask for the temperature that we wanted this or the steak cooked, so the service has been amazing, but I just think that that's something they don't ask here. I'm curious how they cooked it. So we had a chat with our waiter after our meal and found out the reason most of the meat looks overcooked is because it's cooked using a method called sous vide. I'll link a great video from Serious Eats explaining this cooking method, but from what I understand, all of the meat at Ansun is sous vide to a perfect medium. You can sous vide meat to medium rare, but I believe they chose medium to appeal to the most people, and because of the way this cooking method works, you're not supposed to lose any of the tenderness or flavor cooking it to medium versus medium rare. 
Our only critique of all the meat at Ansun is that it lacks the charcoal, smoky crispiness that we've loved at some of the other steakhouses we've tried. Let us know in the comments if you have any more information on this, but going forward, if you hear us talking about the cook or coloring of the meat, just disregard it. Let's give it a try. Wow, that honestly way exceeded my expectations. There's something about it that just looks fake. Like it looks like a burger that you'd see in a commercial for like McDonald's or something. So I wasn't thinking it was gonna be that good. But that meat is so flavorful. It's so oily. Apparently it's ground up New York shrimp. So I guess that's maybe why. It also comes with creamy cheddar cheese that's melted all over it, pickles, onions, and it's on a toasted sesame bun. Let's try some of these fries. First, I'll try them without the sauce. First of all, they're so nice and thin. Mm. So crunchy. They're not that salted, but they have scallions on them, which give them nice flavor. And I think this is like a chipotle mayo. I've probably said this a million times in all our other videos, but I love fries with Chipotle mayo. <laughs> so I'm a happy camper. Mm. Okay, let's try this steak. It is so nice and charred. It comes with some fresh rosemary on top and a little bit of garlic. Mm. Wow, it has so much flavor. I love the garlic in there. I taste the salt. The seasoning is just perfect. And honestly, it's so nice and tender. Like it's not super chewy, even though it's cooked a little bit more than I would like, it still like melts in my mouth. It's just delicious. Let's try it with this chimichurri. Honestly, not a fan of the chimichurri. I love chimichurri, but this just tastes so oregano-y to me. I just feel like there's so much spice in my mouth and it doesn't taste like fresh spice. It almost tastes like dried spices. Then it definitely overpowers a steak. I think I'd prefer to eat the steak on its own. <laughs> Let's try this carbonara. So with the steak price fix, you get one side. Again, if multiple people order it, you get all three sides and bigger portions of each side. Let's give this a try. It looks so creamy. I love how there's a fresh egg yolk on top. I could see bits of bacon. I love how you're eating with a serving spoon. <laughs> right out of the cup. Talk about creamy. The noodles are so nice and soft and I get all this rich cream and cheese. Little bits of bacon, which add a little bit more salt. That's delicious. Oh my goodness, that looks incredible. Thank you so much. How good does this look? It's also enormous. I think this is the biggest porterhouse I've ever seen. And look at this like massive steak that comes with it. The steak that comes with the steak. I know. <laughs> I also love how thinly sliced this is and the presentation is just amazing. I love how it's on this cutting board. Okay, I'm gonna grab a piece from the middle just to get a better feel for the temperature. It definitely looks a little bit medium to medium well. There's a little bit of pink on the top, but in general, it's mostly like a light brown color. Wow, the flavor is unreal. And even though it's a little bit more cooked for my liking, it melts in my mouth. It is so tender, so flavorful, the perfect amount of salt. I taste the fresh garlic. All right, let's try this filet. Wow, that is definitely a flavorful filet. Again, melts in my mouth. It's got like a little bit of buttery flavor to it. So good. This thing is absolutely massive. This is definitely the largest porterhouse we've ever had. There are no like sizes or anything on the menu. So like this is just kind of what you get. Mm. Wow, a little fatty, just the right amount of fat. It's not really overly like crispy or anything. And it is cooked maybe a little bit more than I would like, but it is really good, really flavorful and really tender. Try some of this filet. Mm. Insanely tender. There's like no fat on this side of it at all. Even though we've already had an entire steak and a burger, I think we're gonna devour this thing. 
After we finished, we checked out their upstairs speakeasy and private dining room. Oh my room. goodness, that's so cool. Not only is this such a fun and unique space, it was also where legendary singer Barbara Streisand had her very first public performance. Well, what an enjoyable meal. We absolutely loved the ambiance. It is such an approachable steakhouse in a beautiful location. The price fix meals and the happy meals are all such a great way to come and enjoy a night out. Well, let us know what you thought of it. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next one.